Oh, now it's taping again. I kind of lost you guys, so I don't know if this is going to continue on or if it's going if it's going to continue on or if it um if it starts a new video. I just don't know. That's weird. Okay, so I don't know why it put taping there for a minute. I don't even I don't even know what I already said because I already said so much stuff and I don't know if it taped or if it did not tape. So I'm just going to um maybe I should just start all over, I guess. I don't know. But how can you repeat something when you don't have like a plan to repeat something? But so I'll just continue on. I'll with my, um, with my, uh, gosh, i got to look at that word again. Junk journal snacks. Bite-sized junk journal snacks. Inspired by 49 dragonflies. I'm just going to continue on. I'm going to make a few more of my little junk journal snacks right here while I'm sitting here because I just won't toast and so I'm just using these um, tags that I was playing with the other night on my live stream. And I'm just going to, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. And I don't know what I've already said. Did I already tell you about Scooter? I don't know if I told you about Scooter. But, um, yeah, I'll kind of repeat myself just a little bit, just in case I didn't get the Skeeter part in there. Um. My son Skeeter here. So for those of you who already done heard this, I mean, if I already said it, just fast forward. But he's in the hospital today because uh, two nights ago he was having trouble with a pain in his arm. And um, and then his arm started swelling. He looked like he had big old muscles in his arm. And um, yeah, it looked like he had big old muscles. He showed me picture. I mean, he showed me his arm. And, um, and so, so, oh, that one already did green. Um, oh, what am I even saying? What am I thinking? My brain is broke. Um, and so he took himself over to the ER because he was a little bit concerned. And what they found was he has a blood clot, a huge blood clot that runs from his shoulder to his elbow and that was what was causing the swelling and the pain so today sometime today they're going to be taking that clot out he's been he's been in the hospital two days now this is day three i think and um they've had him on a heparin drip to dissolve the clot somewhat but um yeah, they're going to suck it out of there today. So if anybody of you has had a blood-sucking experience, <laughs> oh, bless his heart. But he's got, well, he doesn't have me worried. I'm not worried. I'm confident that things is going to be good. And, um, uh, but even though I've prayed, even when you pray, you're supposed to leave things in the hands of God after you pray and he'll, he'll take care of it and I believe that don't think I don't believe that because I do believe that but um but I'm still concerned I still have some concern there and um and so and I'm hopefully soon I'll hear from my daughter-in-law to let me know how things went so Bless their hearts and, yeah, the children. The children, for some reason, they love him. I don't know why. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, his children love him dearly. Okay, now where's my scissors? Oh, geez, here's um my fabric scissors. So cutting paper. It's definitely against the law. Against the law. So I can put a, 
a word because I like to have my words. Gotta have a word there. I'm gonna have a word with you, dear. Yeah. I used to get scared when Hubster says, Honey, I have to have a word with you. And I think, oh my gosh. Then you get all this panic stricken, you know, because because Hubster wants to have a word with me. Yeah, that's not good. And that usually was always good. <laughs> but for some reason, you know, I'd say, oh, I wonder why he wants to have a word with me. I don't really want to use my fabric scissors, so I'll go ahead and tear this. See, even these little pieces that you tear off like that, they can be used on something else. And I just put that right there. That's what I'm going to do with that right there. I'm just going to put that right there. And I'm going to put that right in there. That's what I'm going to do with that. Mm -hmm. See, now, everybody's beauty will come out different. Just different. There we go. See how pretty that is? See how pure, pretty full that is? Let's see, what do I have here now? Just dig through my stuff. Dig, dig, dig through my stuff. Okay. This is some pretty fabrics that my friend Cordula sent me that she stamped on, which is just the coolest thing in the world. And so I'm just going to use a piece of that because this is what I like to use for my tag poles. You know, when I first started crafting, I didn't do junk journals. I did tailor-made, beautiful, measured them and stuff journals. Look at that. See? Now that's a junk tag. I have one of my journals right here. Wait a minute, let me put this lid on here. One of my journals, I was just looking at this this morning. You see, I, it's not finished. It's been sitting on a shelf. But look how I measured things. Oh, this front page, I gotta put something else there because I started, I started a page on here, but I'm gonna cover this up with something else. And, but I started a page. Let me show you what I started. Where did I put it? Because I'm going to make it into a birthday card for my son. His birthday's on the 30th. Um, my youngest son, he'll be 30. Oh, that's right. He's 30 every year. He's been 30 now for like, this will be seven years that he's been 30. But, um, where did I put that piece? I am just about the losingest. Well, we won't worry about that then. Because I'm going to put, I want to put a waterfall. Because it was waterfall. But see, now this is how I used to like measure and do things. And measuring. And then making flowers. And, you know, just by cutting out fabric. I mean paper. There's a little butterfly. And there, everything, everything's just all measured and fixed out pretty. And then... Then here's another page with a flower with a button and some bling and it says I remember. And then this one here, it's got little pockets right here. And see, then that says, oh, then that, oh, oh, that was, I put a picture of my little Kimberly Faith in there. I'm keeping that out too because I'm going to make her birthday card out of that. And I can put something else in there. And what's in this one? Memories. Oh, I don't have any pictures or anything on that one. But it's just in that little envelope. Yeah, I had something in the front there. And I said, I am taking that back out of there. I won't put that in. A, and here I even have a magnet on there. And then this opens up like this. See, there's bling on there. And then it opens up and I can pull stuff out of there. A little journaling card. And then close that back up. And tie that little ribbon around there. 
I don't know how long ago I did this, but that's when I was really into measuring stuff. I should someday maybe do that again. And then here I made one of those little rippled flowers that I can't remember what you call them. And then that's got a, rip, a ribbon too. And then it's got like waterfall page. Did I put anything in here? See, it's and so in the waterfall you can add pictures or oh that's on there crooked. Why is it on there crooked? Maybe it's supposed to be crooked. I'll just pretend it's supposed to be crooked. But then that's that waterfall. And um let me see. hide back in the bow yeah I'm just taking up your time I know but but as long as I'm with friends then I'm not going to be worried too much about my kid my kid who's 53 years old how can I even have a 53 year old kid I'm only 54 myself and then here then this page it's got a little pocket in there with a journaling tag and then here's a little tiny flip out right here. And I don't remember the name of this um, paper pad I used, but I think it came from, I think it came from um, Hobby Lobby. And then what's in, uh oh, wait a minute, did I lose myself again? Lose myself in luxury? Oh, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I'm, now I'm, so I touched my mouse. Hang on a second here. Oh, yeah, I think I'm still there. I think I'm still there. And um, now here, look at here. This opens with a magnet. And then here is an open up little envelope. And then it says butterfly. And there's another little it says butterfly kisses and it's got a butterfly on there and it's got some bling on there. That's pretty. You know what? This might be one. I can finish this one up because I wanted to send something to, um, um, oops. I wanted to send something to, I kind of thought about selling it this morning, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to finish this up, fix it up in the spots that need fixed. And make sure I have no personal stuff in there. But see, there's a card and a journaling card. And send it to Defy. And she can use it to, um, she can um, auction it off for her, for their, um, you know, where they make money for shipping. Yeah, this is definitely, um, I definitely got this paper pad from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still have that one because this is old. Now, see, I have this in here, but I still have a flap here, and then I still have another journaling card in there. So that flap tucks in, and then the card goes there. Oh, and see here, I got tuck spots. So some, oh, wait a minute, I do have something in there. See, so there's that same paper with the chairs. That chairs reminded me that where I got that. And so here we go with that. And this here journal really kind of all uh, blends together. Here I got some, they're like little plastic bling, you know, flower. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to donate this one too. If I, but see the way I put the pages in, there's got, there's a, about a half an inch or three eighths of an inch anyway, a uh, space in between each page. So then with a, when you have something bulky on them, then it, it, it's good. Okay. So then that's a pocket with, with a card and let's see here, then the envelope with. Oh, I can't wait till I get my gloves. I know that they're gonna help my help me just because. And there's another little little card and layered that like that. That's pretty. You know, sometimes when I do things and I look at it later, I say, "Did I do that?" 
but I think this is real pretty. And there I've got a flower, and then it's got a little piece of lace there, and then it's got a hat pin. Oh, is that? See, so it's got like a hat pin in there. I won't pull it out. Got like a little hat pin decorated. And then another journaling card here. And that this opens up. Oh, and this is like a waterfall piece, too. And so that's journaling space or a place to put pictures. And then the inside back cover, I just got flowers on here. But um, this is neat because in the paper, it had this glittery stuff already. And then when I had these um, little flowers that were sent to me in Happy Mail, I said, wow, those are perfect. They'll match. And that's when I was really into everything matching. Now I'm junk journaling and nothing has to match. So this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. Or 14 if you count both sides but in the front here because I took a piece out that I had because I started was going to, oh I need to put some kind of a little closure on her too and so but that's and then I just have a this is a little camera on a little ball chain and just a little clip a little miniature binder clip that can just Oh, and see, then I have one of them on the back, too. I had two of these on here, but one's fell in the floor. And, um, oh, here, no, that's not it. Um, see how quickly I can make a mess? I mean, I think I've got the skill. I have got the skill to make a mess. So if ever I was to, you know, I could call the police and say, Somebody come and ravish to my house. I can ravish it in about 10 seconds. Don't believe me. No, I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, so anyway, I lost that. So no big deal. No big hairy deal right there. It is a big hairy deal, though, when I have something one minute and then the next minute's missing. Because I just wanted to show you how it all opened. And, um, but I kind of lost it. Uh, so whenever I find it, I'll find it with my mind, because it's lost, too. Gee, Billy Christmas. I had that thing right yonder. Right yonder. Let's see. Hmm. Huh. That's too funny. But it's not funny when you realize who I am. I am the one. I am the great... Oh, here it is. This was what was in the front of that book that I took out because I started fixing it for myself. And so this here is just a closure with a magnet. But then it has, I took this out because I started decorating it for myself, but I decided I'm going to make my son's birthday card out of this because what I've got in there, and i got to really fix it because I kind of ripped it out. Billy's going to be... He's going to be 37, 30 years for, to the seventh power or something. But here he is in 80, he was born in 85. So here's him and his cousin, Cheryl. And that was in 86-ish. No, yeah. Well, this was in 86, so he was only a year old there. Hmm, that's funny. And, um, but then here is a picture. This was the day he come home from the hospital and his sister Tommy Sue was putting him on a little horse. And I got it written on the back, just each story. And this was my mom. And um, she's holding little baby, I was gonna say baby Jesus. That was Billy and then that's Jennifer. And so then I have something written in here about that. And then here's grandma again with little Billy. And then that opens this way. And there's Billy on a little truck. Um, his Uncle Gene came to the hospital that day and brought that truck and brought the little horse to the hospital. And so I journaled a little bit about that there. And that was me and him right there. That's why I didn't have to color my hair then. Cute as a button. And that was him and his dad. We were at Daytona Beach. That was our beautiful car. This year car, I changed the water pump in that car right there. And there was a stroller. 
And then, I don't know how come Ernie, every time you tell him to pose for a picture, he'd do that Charles Atlas pose, you know. And there he had little Billy on his hip. And then we have Billy here, and we have Billy here taking his bottle. He, I wrote, he need, needing a nap. But see how it just all flips, flips. Wait a minute, that flips inside first, and this, and then this, and then this. And then this. So they're all flipped. And then you go flip up again. And there again was, oh, there was Billy a little older. He was um, hunting Easter eggs. And there he is again. His hair was so beautifully platinum blonde. And there he is again with his little platinum blonde hair. And there's him and his sister Jennifer. And they were in a, one of them photo booths. There he is. And, um... Oh, here, look at there. He was ready to go to church. Happy Easter, 1992, ready for church. Gotta love this kid. And so, <laughs> and there he was, ready to go to church. And then Billy, grade three at Deltona Elementary School. And so I took this out. I said, this is going to make an awesome birthday card. And so here he was. He had to climb a tree this Easter. This was a different Easter. But he had to climb the tree because he had a laundry basket. And all his Easter surprises were in the laundry basket. And I climbed up a tree and put it way up in the tree. So he had to climb up. Oh, that was in 1991. That he had to climb up that. Was it 91? No, that one was later. Oh, this was 95. This one was 91, where we were coloring eggs, and there's Billy again. And so, and then here was Christmas. He was six years old. So it kind of goes back and forth, but that was Christmas. He's six years old. And this, he was 1997, spring of 97. His dad passed away in January of 97. And we were having, I was having... A problem being at home. I didn't want to be in my house. So every weekend, me and Billy, because he was that was just a few months after his daddy died. Um, he, we went camping, and we always went to the same place, Crooked River Campground, out at Silver Lake, and we'd go camping, and we'd stay there till he had to be to school, back to school, in the, you know, on Monday. That's what we did. Weekend after weekend after weekend after weekend. But it was so much fun camping, but I couldn't get wait. I just had a problem getting being in my house. Now I have a problem leaving my house. But I'm going to make his birthday card out of this. And I think he's going to love it. But that's going to be his birthday card. Okay, I'm hanging on here a long time. I don't know if this is going to glue, if this part of the video is going to glue back onto what I already did. I don't know how this works because I'm not too bright. I could never get a job as a light bulb because I'm not too bright. But um, see here, I probably still need to go something down there on that one. But see, if you're, and, and here I don't have any plan for these except they're going to go into my little box which are my gotta look at it again junk journal snacks I'm gonna have to write that on there and that's not my doings that's 49 dragonflies so if you haven't um if you have not subscribed to her already you need to just get hold of that girl she has got some ideas, and when she gets in describing what she's doing, it's like you, there's no question, you know what she's doing. And, um, yeah, so now I hope my needle comes soon for my, um, for my yarns here. See here, this is a book 101 double ended hook stitches. And so, and I have a double ended hook right here. It's got a hook on both ends, but it's big. I know I have a little one, too, somewhere. It's got a little cap on the end. But see, um, I talked about it a little bit. Um, see here how it says crochet knit, crochet knit, crochet knit. Um, it's... Some were telling me on the live stream that it was something else. 
Tanzas, Tanzas something or whatever. But no, I'm just do the, what it's called the crochet knit. And so, but I want to go ahead and do that. There's one I want to really do. This here. I want to make some dish rags. Just so, so when you put this together, this is the front. This is the back. Front and back. And this is the one I really want to do because it really shows the colors are um, the two different colors because you're going to use two different colors of yarn, two different skeins. And so, but there's so many different stitches you can do in here. But, but you go along with two different skeins of yarn, two different colors. And for me, I love it because you can see where the stitches are. You can absolutely see where the stitches are. And um, so, and I don't lose track of my stitches because sometimes I'll say, I uh, start with 20 stitches and all of a sudden, how come I got 21 stitches on my needle? And I don't know where I found the extra one. Well, or I might have start with 20 and then all of a sudden I've got 19. Well, I lost a stitch somewhere and I don't know where I lost it. When I'm stitching with two colors of yarn, I don't lose my stitches because you can see exactly where you're supposed to be poking that hook in. So hopefully my my um, my hooks, well actually I ordered a, it was a package of six or five different, or maybe it was four different, <laughs> I don't know, it's more than one. And um, I ordered them through Amazon and they're bamboo hooks. I've never used bamboo before, but that's all they had in the long ones. I wanted a long 11 inch hook and um, how long is this one well, this is a 14 inch hook here but yeah so I'm gonna once I get them hooks then I'm gonna I'm gonna do one of them on on um, on a video so you can see how easy it is to do it's really easy and especially if you're having troubles seeing and you can't see to them stitches because we're using two different colors you can see exactly because you you stitch one color on to the needle and then the next color you use when you're stitching off the needle and so you can see now I need the harsh from my mouth and uh, go in there and fix my bread because it's got to rise for three hours and if I want it ready for dinner, yeah, it's 2.30 already. Okay, so I'm going to let you turn you all, all loose. Thanks for coming. Make some, um, start you a junk journal snack box. Bite-sized junk journal snacks. That's what these are. Okay, and remember that that idea come from 49 Dragonflies. I can't take too much credit for much anything anymore. Because I snatch other people's ideas. Okay, now, now I gotta find my. Oh, there it is. Mm hmm. Okay. I, oh, I did not read. Oh, my word. I can't end anything without reading something. I gotta read something. Oh, where is my reading? Oh, here we go. Oh, here's one. I wish that maid would come back. She ran off. The, ba her, the maid ran off, but at least she didn't take my hopester with her. Okay, let's find a page. Let's, no. Oh, here, it's just a little pip talk. And that's from You Are Stronger Than You Know. All right, a little pip talk. Repeat after me. I am strong. I am special. I can do anything. Sometimes life throws hurdles in our path, but we just have to keep going full speed ahead, looking inside ourselves for the courage to leap over them and never look back. You are strong and a remarkable person, and you can do anything. May you always believe in yourself. And that was wrote by Natalie Evans. Okay, God bless you all. May he watch over you every step you take, every move you make, keep you safe, keep you humble, and keep you warm if you're in that snowy climate up there, or keep you cool if you're in the summer over there in Australia. But um, but um, stay safe, be humble, be happy, be honorable, be yourself, and make some snacks, junk journal snacks. Okay, 
God bless you all. And he is going to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I love you guys. And come back again.